What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Find You Again by Mark Ronson and Camila Cabello. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what other songs by either of these two awesome artists that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing is she need to know to play Find You Again on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep this as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to third fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know for Find You Again is the structure of this song. We're going to start out with a pre-chorus then go to chorus, then verse, then pre-chorus, chorus, verse again, then pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, and then we're gonna finish up with one last chorus. And the last thing you wanna know before we dive into Find You Again is the three chords that we need to play this song. The first one is G, the next one is A minor, and the last one is F. And I'll have a beginner way to play that F chord in the pinned comment below for those of you who need it, as well as chord charts for all the other chords. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Find You Again. Man, this is a great song for beginner guitarists because it just has one chord progression that repeats through the entire song. And then we're just going to have a couple options for what we can do for strum pattern depending on where we are in the song. So first, let's take a look at that chord progression. First, we're going to have an F chord. And that F is going to play for two measures. That has to do with what we're doing for strum pattern. If you don't know what that means, it'll make a little bit more sense in just a minute when we get to our strum patterns. The next chord we're going to have is G. And the last chord we'll have is A minor. And that chord progression is just going to repeat through literally the whole entire song. Now, for our strum pattern options. First, we're going to look at pre-chorus, which is what we start the song with. So, what we're doing for pre-chorus is just one single down strum for each chord. Now, this is where that kind of two measures on F comes in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit F. We're going to let that hang out for twice as long as we do the other chords. Then we're going to switch to G and then pretty quick into A minor. So, a little bit closer to actual speed that'll look about like this. We've got F and then G, A minor, about that speed. And we're just gonna do a single down strum. And like I said, that is gonna be all of our pre-choruses in the song, which there's actually a lot of pre-choruses in this song. So you'll see this pretty often. So guys, a couple of times through that pre-chorus chord progression, or the chord progression we're using for the whole song, with that pre-chorus strum pattern, will look about like this full speed. And from there, guys, we're into what we're playing for strum pattern for the entire rest of the song, which will be our choruses, verses, and our bridge. So again, we're going to have that same chord progression. We got F, and then we have G, and A minor. Again, same chord progression through the entire song. Now, what we're going to do for this is we're going to have a different strum pattern for each chord, which sounds complicated and intimidating, but I promise it's not as hard as it seems. Let's start with our F chord. So for our F chord, we're going to do this. We're going to have down, down, up, down, down, up, down, and then we're going to go to our G chord. And what we're going to do for our G chord is we're going to play down, down, up, and then we're going to go quickly to our A minor and play down, down, up, down for our A minor. So basically what we're doing is we have that first F chord that's going to be down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And then for our G and A minor, we're doing that same strum pattern, but we're splitting it between the two chords, the G and the A minor. It's the same strum pattern, just split in half for both of those chords. So one more little walkthrough. We've got our F chord first. We go down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And we go to G, down, down, up, and then A minor, down, down, up, down. Just like that, and that is going to play on every part of this song besides the pre-chorus. So again, all of our choruses, all of our verses, and all of our bridges are our one bridge, actually. So guys, a couple of times full speed through that strum pattern and that chord progression that we're going to be using for all the parts besides pre-chorus on Find You Again will look about like this.
And guys, that is everything you should know to play Find You Again on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 680 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what song I'm jamming on today or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram story at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, Find You Again is actually one of those songs that I got a request for yesterday, and I actually looked up the song. I actually usually look up the songs when you guys request them, even though I get a lot. I looked up this song and I realized it wasn't even out yet. It technically comes out today when you guys are seeing this video, but I found like a little version of it that had already been kind of pre-released, and so I learned it as quick as I could and I liked the song a lot and it was a really good beginner guitar song so I wanted to get it out to you guys as quickly as possible. So this is actually like I said a great beginner guitar song because it's very 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 beginner friendly in the sense that it just has that one chord progression that repeats all the way through. There is that F chord which I know is a little bit intimidating but there is the beginner F in the pinned comment below don't forget about that it's super super easy and it just has two really two strum patterns it's got that single down strum and then it's got that one strum pattern that we use for the f and then we split that f strum pattern in half for the other two chords for all the rest of the song and so it's actually a very beginner friendly one there's not a lot to remember with this song but it's super cool i'm actually a huge fan of camila cabello i love her music and i'm excited to see her doing more stuff because at least as far as i know she hasn't really done a whole lot of new stuff since her last album in i guess the end of 2017 i think is when that came out and we haven't really seen a lot of new music from her since so it's kind of cool to see her getting back out there because I really enjoyed that album I enjoyed teaching it and I enjoyed a lot of the songs on there as well but anyways guys I hope you have a blast learning this song I certainly had a blast playing it I hope you have a wonderful day I'll see y'all soon